as you may have guessed from earlier, there's going to be a lot of typing in of code to produce any reasonable script. Using code snippets to paste commonly used code into our script reduces that time considerably. I've prepared a number of code snippets for you to use in this course. This will reduce the time we both spend typing examples and therefore increase the time we spend understanding and using the examples. Bluefish code snippets are a particularly powerful way of storing pieces of code for reuse because they allow you to use parameters in the snippet to modify the output to suit specific cases. Let's download the snippets file now so they're ready for us to use. Go to the website www.training.tmit.net and log in using the username Infinite Skills, all lowercase, and the password PHP Course, again all lowercase. Here we are at the website training.tmit.net and I'm going to log in using the username Infinite Skills and the password PHP Course. Click the login button to reveal the menu on the left. At the bottom of the menu, click the Resources item to reveal a link to the Bluefish Snippets XML file. Right click the Snippets file and select the option Save Link As. Be sure to save this in a known location, preferably the desktop, and save the file tmit underscore res underscore php dot xml. An icon indicating the file should appear on your desktop. You can now close the downloads window and let's go to our Bluefish editor. Click on the snippets button at the bottom left. Anywhere in the files and folders pane, right click and select the option import. Go to the desktop folder and choose the file that we downloaded tmit underscore res underscore php dot xml and click open. You'll notice now there is a folder called PHP training in your snippets folder with some snippets in there. You have now successfully downloaded the snippets folder and are ready to start using them in this course.